How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back with yet another review. Some collaboration goodness today. Collaboration goodness that kind of really piqued my interest when I saw this beer. In the form of Trillium and De Proof Brewing collabing on a farmhouse dry, hop, dry hopped farmhouse ale bouquet. Or bouquet, I'm not quite sure how they want to pronounce it, but I'm going to go bouquet. Um, yeah, walked into a local bottle shop. Not so local bottle shop, about an hour away. And uh, just kind of saw the sucker, and I was like, okay, the proof. I've done a couple of their collaboration reviews, most notably their Long of Tooth, which was a, a collab they did with Surly. Um, it was an old ale, and it had all kinds of crazy stuff going on. I love that beer, but they're, they're, they're kind of like the collab, the Belgian collab kings. They just love cl uh, collaborating with a lot of Americanized breweries. And to see they actually did something with Trillium, and I can't get it, that did not suck. So, yeah. Let's crack into it and see what she's got. As far as what it says on the label, it says, Brewed and bottled by De Proof Brewery, uh, Lord Priest E, Belgium, Brewmaster's Collection, De Proof Brewery, Chilling and Brewing, Bouquet, Farmhouse Ale, Product of Belgium, Dry Hopped with Citroën Mosaic. So, you know, you know where Trillium is bringing to the game on this one. Um, story time, that's pretty much it. There's not much else on there. Ghetto labels, typical Belgian fashion, beautiful fucking labels. Um, the, you know, it, it, it has the proof kind of styling and art design, but Trillium is a flower and it has, it just marries both breweries, their, their, their vision, um, in the label. It just works for me. I fucking did it. So it's one of the better, -er -er, cause that's a word labels I've had in a while. So a little hiss on there. She looks a little, not violent. You can see the kind of bubbles racing up to the top of it. Um, Dry house farmhouse, or dry hopped farmhouse, I should say. What do I expect? Well, it is the proof, so if this thing goes a little sideways, gets a little funky, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but at the same time, if it goes uber traditional, who knows? You might want a little bit of uh, spiciness, a little bit of Belgian soul, get that Americanized hop, new school hoppiness, kind of uh, ramp it throughout there, hopefully, and it uh, might be something pretty interesting. Two fingers rockiness. It's a creaminess at the top, but it's pretty rocky. Neurotic bubbles all about. And it's got a uh, lemony pseudo-haze to it with a kind of a, a gentle snow globe kind of carbonation going on. It's a real pretty beer, actually. The carbonation is, like, mesmerizing. If you can see it on camera, this light thing I've been doing, it's kind of just creeping up the sides, kind of like, uh, I dig it. Let's put it that way. So, yeah, I mean, she looks like a... A farmhouse ale, let's put it that way. Did I get an ABV on this sucker too? 6.5% alcohol by volume, so let's see if we can get a nose on her. Definite, like, semi-funky. I'm getting a citrus mosaic. I'm getting a lot of citrus. I'm getting citrus. I'm getting, like, uh, I'm getting, uh, what else am I getting in there? It's a lot going on. I'm getting, like, a... Everything, actually. I'm getting a little bit of cantaloupe, but I'm getting a lot of uh, orange citrus, um, but sweeter, not super acidic. Um, I'm getting a kind of clementiny kind of orangey vibe, but at the same time, I'm getting like a real minimal kind of nectarininess going on in there. But I'm also getting a funky yeastiness. It, it almost, if they didn't say it on here, but if they said, oh, there's some, like, Brett, or more specifically, like, a Brett C kind of involved on this, I wouldn't be surprised. I'm not saying it's in there, but I'm getting that kind of yeasty vibe from it. A little bit of soft, like, almost like a white kind of pepper, like a very gentle pepperiness. Almost like a lemon grassy vibe to it, too. It's a lot of bright uh, fruit notes um, with that little bit of that kind of season-y, maybe bready kind of funk going on. So, yeah, I mean, she smells really fun. She looks super cool. Let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. Wow. It's got to have Brett C in it. It's got to. Absolutely has to. Probably doesn't. I'm wrong, but you're getting this such a mouth-watering citrus vibe from it. It's just, it's pineapple. I didn't see that in the nose, but I'm getting in the mouth. It's tons of pineapple. That's replaced the orange for me in the mouth. So you're getting the orange, but it's all about the pineapple. You're getting a little bit of that stone fruit, not as much as I got in the nose. And it's that, that yeast. 
there's that little kind of subtle pepperiness, but it's stuff like it's tricking me. I don't know if they're getting these citrus notes from the hops or they're getting it from the yeast. I think it's it, it, it has to be Brett involved. I don't know. I'm probably wrong. Who knows? But this is screaming Brett to me. Um, super fun. Tart. Tart but not sour. Nice man. The mouthfeel you expect. Just a really bright, well done beer. It does t it taste Belgian, but it tastes like it had Trillium had a had their fingers in in the pie. You know what I mean? It it, it marries both breweries well, and um, just that that Americanized version of those hops. And you know it is dry hopped, and, the, and like I said, I think a lot of it's coming from the yeast itself. But you are getting those kind of hop presence, those citrus flavors, the pineapple stuff like that. A portion of it's coming from the hops. And that's where you're kind of getting the Trillium, the Americanized version of it. This is delicious, actually. This is a really good beer. Mm. Yeah, I like this. But then again, I'm kind of a homer when it comes to proof collabs. And I really enjoy Trillium's beers, so this is kind of a no-brainer almost out the shoot, whether I was going to like it or not. So, yeah. Um, tart pineapple abounds. Subtle spiciness. Funkiness from the East. This is a true Belgium versus New England kind of vibe. Uh, let's talk about it. Is it one of the better dry hop saisons collabs I've had? It's like, yeah, because how many have there been of those? Like five ever? Uh, no. Is one of the better let's just go base saisons I've had? Yes. Not in the traditional sense with the dry hopping and 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 whatnot, but at the same time, it's just it 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 pickles my fancy because with me loving Belgian beers, cutting my cloth on Belgian beers, it's marrying both cultures perfectly and it's just exactly what I wanted it to be seeing it. This is what I hoped it was going to be when I drank it. Kind of going, oh, I hope it's like this and it's exactly what I wanted. Um, value and availability, saw it in one place. Take that with a grain of salt. I think it was $6 for the bottle. Kind of pricey, but it is brewed and bottled into proof, so it is a Belgian product. It's kind of par for the course cost-wise. So I don't mind what I paid for it. And let's just say, if you like what, will you like this? If you like Belgian beers and you like New England IPAs, to make it as simplistic and obvious as you possibly can, it is what it is. You're taking the best parts of the proof and what they do. The yeast, a little bit of funkiness, and just the mastery of marrying flavors. And then you're taking Trillium and what they do best with their dry hopping and that new school hot presence with a, with a bit of impact, even though it's, it, it is gentle and rounded, it's impactful, and kind of marrying both together. So if you're kind of a fan of both of those styles, this beer is just going to crush it for you um, because it, it is just fucking delicious. So there you go. Another review in the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did it or you didn't or somewhere in between, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Like, subscribe, all that fun, fun stuff. Uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, untapped. Massive beers in all four of those places if you want to check me out anywhere else. And yeah, another review down. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a beautiful collaboration beer right now. And yeah, drink good beer, baby. Cheers.